Hi, my name is Jerome and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a way to solve a programming end of equation called FISBUS in three different programming languages. We're going to be using Python, JavaScript, and PHP. So in order to benefit from this video, you should have some level of uh, education in programming and probably you are a computer science student or learning how to code. Let's get started. Alright guys, so before we start coding, uh, I will just give uh, a bit of introduction about the FISBUS. So it's a programming interview questions that says write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100. If it's a multiple of 3, it should print FIS. If it's a multiple of 5, it should print BUZZ. If it's a multiple of 3 and 5, it should print FISBUS. Okay? Um, this kind of test for programmers, it's, it's probably not the best way to test the ability of uh, developers to, you know, to, to, to solve a particular problem. But the bottom line is, uh, maybe this one, uh, are, if they're still using this or not, maybe a modified version of this. But, but the bottom line is, um, as programmers, we should be able to solve a problem. Okay. So, and the FISBUS um, problem, uh, the, the solution of, of, of this problem is, in fact, uh, applicable very much applicable in developing uh, uh, the most systems we are using loop and if statement and they are always uh, uh, it's all over the place okay, in, in every system so it's wor still worth checking and studying about this type of question for uh, exercises uh, purposes okay all right so we're gonna be starting with Python okay so I'm using PyCharm um, I'll just delete this one uh, for, for now so let's create a new project in Python uh, just a file a okay, new and new Python file let's put here a uh, FISBUS okay the Python Python for loop is uh, looks like this for X in range 1 to 1 let's just print first 1 to 10 the first problem is write a program that prints from 1 to 100. Let's focus on that one first. Okay. So let's print whatever is in the variable x. Okay. Run the program. We're now able to print from 1 to 9. You will notice that the way I put here 1 and 10, but it only prints from 1 to 9. So let's just make it 11 to print from 1 to 10. And since we are printing from 1 to 100, I'll put it here 101. And run the program okay that's uh, 1 to 100 all right so how do we know that a number is a multiple of 3 all right so we can I'll just comment this one out first we use this uh, percent or the module operator in programming in Python for example 3 modulo 3 let's see what's the output Run the program. Okay. Hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Run. The output is zero. Okay. The output is zero. Because module operator in uh, programming is actually an operator that outputs the remainder of dividing two numbers. For example, if you divide five, uh, five divided by three. Uh, the quotient is 1 with the remainder of what? Okay, the remainder is 2. Okay, so if you have 7 here, 7 divided by 3, what will be the remainder? It's 1, right? There are 2 in 7 and the remainder is 1. So the output is the remainder. So using the module operator, we will be able to easily determine if a particular number is a multiple of a certain number okay so now that we have that background let's go back to our for loop so we can now say if x uh, modulo 3 equal equal to 0 right so if it's equal to 0 that means the 3 is a multiple of that particular number 
you can now say print fees on this part else just print whatever the values in the x so if you're in the program instead of three it now displays uh, fees instead of six it now displays six since uh, three is a multiple of six and by itself three is also a multiple of nine 12 and so on and so forth okay so this first first part is solved second part is solved let's go to the third part that says if it's a multiple of five it should uh, print uh, buzz instead of the number so we can apply the same concept i'll just go ahead and paste it here but in python we don't have to say lf Okay, instead of this, it should be bus. Okay, run the program. Now we can see bus here. So 5, 10, which is a multiple of 5. So let's go to the third part that says if it's a multiple of both 3 and 5, it should print this bus. So logically, we, can, we might attempt to do this. Okay. Okay, if x uh, module 5 and x modulo 3 equal to 0. Okay, double equal signs is equal in programming. You can say print bus, bus. Okay, else print whatever's inside this number. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, um, our program right here seems to be correct logically in our mind. Okay, but as you can see in our output, we don't see this bus. Okay, it has something to do with the sequence of the code in programming. So, um, right now, uh, I mean, in programming, it seems to be in, in for loop, it seems to be that it evaluates first the most complex expression in, in, uh, in a problem. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, you can tell me, but uh, in my experience, uh, it seems to evaluate first the most complex expression in a for loop or the higher number okay something like that so we're, we're, we're what we're, what I'm, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to invert the sequence but it's the same concept so instead of evaluating first this this expression we will uh, evaluate first the most complex one which is right here and put this top at the bottom okay now it's inverted so uh, this part right here should be this bus. Here should be this. Okay, if the number is a multi, uh, I mean, if uh, three and five is a multiple of that number, it should print this bus. If it is uh, a multiple of five, I mean, if five is a multiple of this number, it it will print buzz. And uh, if it is uh, three is the multiple of that number, it should print this. Okay, let's run the program. Okay, now you can see that we are now have this bus in our output. Fif 14, 15. So 15, um, 3 and 5 is a multiple of uh, multiples of 15. So it print this bus here. 30 as well. Okay, 45, uh, 60, and so on and so forth. As well as with the 3 and number 5, uh, 10 is... Uh, 5 is a multiple of 10, so it's print bus right over here. Now we're able to solve the problem in Python, okay? So now let's move on to, how about, uh, okay, let's move on to JavaScript. I'm going to be using a different um, IDE now, which is the VS Code. All right, so let's start off with our with HTML here, because JavaScript is actually... I used to manipulate HTML elements normally, yeah. So I'm going to test if our HTML is working. Here we go, that's this bus. And we have a script.js here where we type our JavaScript code. We want to make sure that it is linked into our HTML page, okay? So script.js. All right, let's see if it's working. Let's try to make an alert. Hello world. Refresh the page. There you go, it's working. <laughs> it says hello world. Okay, 
So we're going to be outputting our variable values inside the console right over here. Okay. So, all right, let's, let's start. So the console, I mean, it doesn't display on the web page, but the variable was display here. I pressed F12 to bring this up. Okay, that one. So if I will say console.log hello world, it uh, the output will be displayed here. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, it's like with Python, we're going to be using for loop. Okay. So I think that's the right syntax for JavaScript. So let's say let x let x is equal to 0 then while x is less than 100 I will increment it by 1 and I will console that log whatever is in the x value okay so that's an error let's see our mistake I is not defined. Oh yeah, I was missing variable x, y. I'm not sure why I used i here. Okay, refresh the page. So now we are able to print from 0 to 99. We'll start with 1 to 101. Because we want to make sure we print from 1 to 100. Okay. So same thing, we have an if statement. If x uh, modulo 5 is equal, equal to 0 we already know that and I believe it's percent and x um, modulo 3 is equal equal to 0 okay all right so if it's that's the uh, expression we will console that log this bus Okay, we already know why we are uh, using this expression first. And instead of uh, uh, starting with 3 and 5. Okay, so then we have here else if. Okay, if x modulo 5 is equal equal to 0, we are going to console that log. <laughs> bus all right and f I'll just copy this one and make this three it should print fizz okay and else just print or console that log whatever is in the variable X Okay, I think this is, yeah, I think that's it in, in JavaScript. So when we refresh the page, you can see 3, it's fizz, 5, buzz, or 15, fizz, buzz, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the uh, solution for JavaScript. All right, so that seems easy. So let's now move on to PHP. All right, guys, so we're going to be working now on PHP. So... PHP is a web uh, server-side scripting language for the web. So we're gonna be working with HTML as well. Okay, we're gonna we have we need to start with HTML to display the value of our variables. Okay, so want to make sure that our HTML is working. So it's working. Let's open our PHP tag to start working with PHP. Let's print uh, hello world to make sure it's working. Okay, it's right over here. Hello world. All right, so we already know the solution. We're also going to be using for loop, just like in JavaScript and Python. So in PHP, you put a dollar sign. Uh, in front of the variable. Okay, I'll just make the font larger for you. Let's say 24. Let's see. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, 
x is equal to 1 while x is less than 101 let's increment the value of x every time and then echo variable x print it's displaying horizontally it's working up right but it's this displaying horizontally so i'm gonna be putting a, an html tag called break so it will display horizontally like that okay all right like so so now we already know what to do we need an if statement with else if here another else if here and else here right the first statement if is 5 modulo well, I mean variable x to dollar sign modulo 5 equal equal to 0 and the variable x well, okay variable x uh, modulo 3 is equal to 0 then we echo out guess what this bus right and for numbers that are uh, a multiple of 5 we echo out buzz instead of the number okay and for the numbers that are multiples of 3 we echo out this right else uh, we'll just echo the number but of course we need to add a break tag every time so that it will display vertically okay let me just copy and paste this one right over here okay I think that's it that's the solution FISBA solution for PHP let's see if it's working all right there you have it so for instead of three it's uh, it, it displays fizz instead of five it displays bus and for the multiples of three and five fifth uh, three and five is a multiple of 15 right here it displays fizz bus okay 30 all right 45 as you can see here it, this is 42 it's a multiple three is a multiple of uh, 42 okay and 60 is a um, uh, three and five is uh, our multiples of this bus I mean of 60 all right so there you have it okay the solution for uh, uh, this bus in Python uh, JavaScript and uh, PHP as you can see we use three different tools Python JavaScript and PHP to come up with the same solution you can do the same with other programming languages I think what matters is our ability to use a tool to solve a problem thank you for watching like subscribe and share this video peace and keep safe